In the enchanting land of Agrabah, where sunshine bathed the endless sands, young Aisha lived a wonder-filled life. One radiant day as she played near a giant sand dune, something caught her eye. It sparkled brilliantly under the sun. Curiosity drew her closer. Could it be treasure? As she approached, the sand around it shimmered mysteriously. Nestled in the warm sands was a tiny golden lamp. Aisha reached out and picked it up. It felt surprisingly warm to the touch. Gently, she rubbed the lamp, and to her astonishment, a puff of smoke erupted. Aisha coughed from the sudden burst. Then, out of the smoke emerged a big blue genie with a booming voice. Greetings! Aisha gasped in disbelief as the genie declared, I am the genie of the lamp. Her eyes widened. This was real magic. The genie, with a kind smile, asked Aisha, What is your wish, young one? Aisha pondered for a moment, her desire clear. She wanted to see her beloved Agrabah from the skies. Boldly, she declared, I wish to fly. The genie chuckled warmly, Your wish is my command. With a snap of his fingers, a beautiful carpet floated gently down towards them. It shimmered just like the dune had. Excited, Aisha climbed aboard and the carpet soared into the bright blue sky. She laughed joyously, feeling the wind dance through her hair. Below, she spotted a monkey on a rooftop, looking worried, next to a handsome young man. Aisha directed the carpet to land. It was Aladdin and his friend Abu. Aladdin looked up at her and exclaimed, We need your help. Aisha's heart leapt, an adventure was just beginning. The Sultan's ruby is missing, Aladdin explained urgently. Abu chattered beside him, his expression sad. We saw the evil Jafar sneaking around, Aladdin continued. Aisha knew what she had to do. The Sultan was kind, and stealing was wrong. Together with her new friends, she flew on the magic carpet to the bustling marketplace of Agrabah. The market was alive with colors and smells, vendors selling silks and spices. Aisha always loved the market, but today, tension hung in the air. Suddenly, a shopkeeper cried out, My gold coins are gone! Aisha noticed footprints in the dust, large and sinister. Jafar was here, she stated firmly. Aladdin nodded in agreement. We need to find him. The stakes were high and danger loomed close. Aisha scanned the marketplace. Her eyes landed on a basket of dates spilled on the ground. An idea sparked. Dates, she exclaimed. Elephants love dates, right? She asked Aladdin. He grinned. Abu, Aladdin called to his monkey friend. Abu loved dates. He knew exactly what to do. Abu climbed onto a nearby rooftop. He began to toss dates into the air, making monkey noises. The scent of dates filled the air. Suddenly, a giant shadow fell over them. It was the Sultan's elephant, Abu. He followed the trail of dates, sniffing with his trunk. He trumpeted loudly. Aisha pointed, that way. Abu the elephant led them through the winding streets. He stopped at a dark alley. Jafar was there trying to disappear into the shadows. He still had the ruby. He glared at the children. Get them, he hissed. Two guards jumped out, but Abu the elephant scared them away. Jafar, in a panic, ran into a dark cave. Aisha, Aladdin, and Abu followed bravely. The cave glittered with treasures. It was the legendary Cave of Wonders but danger lurked. The cave rumbled. A deep voice boomed. Only those pure of heart may enter. Aisha knew what to do. Greedy and scared, Jafar ran deeper into the cave. The ground shook. We need to get the ruby, shouted Aladdin. Aisha grabbed his hand. We need to be brave and smart, she said. She saw a pile of gold coins near Jafar. Aisha pointed. Distract him, she whispered to Aladdin. Aladdin threw a shiny coin. Jafar, distracted by the treasure, bent down. This was Aisha's chance. Aisha bravely dashed past Jafar. She snatched the ruby. The cave shook again. Let's go, she yelled. They escaped just as the cave entrance collapsed. Jafar was trapped. Aisha had saved the day. She was a true hero. 
I hope this whimsical bedtime story brings joy and sweet dreams to the little ones watching Once Upon a Nighttime 